Hi, Terry here. This is part two of a new runner's perspective on running shoes. So here's what I've learned since the first video. I like the Hoka Mach. I had a Mach 4, but I didn't buy it in wide and I tried running in it and I definitely need wide. So the Hoka shoes do tend to be more narrow. So then I tried both the Hoka Speed Goat. I had used them once on just a trail hike because these are um, you know marketed as trail shoes but you can also wear trail shoes so comfortable I ran a long run in these and they say maybe the only thing about uh, a trail shoe is maybe the rubber is a little bit softer maybe would wear out but they do make them so they can be both worn on the road and on the trails and I love these the cushion is amazing I almost feel like if you were racing in these you have a definite advantage because it's just like the bounce and a little bit slightly I felt forward, rolling forward. I tried the Graviata, also in wide, so no problems on the side of my foot. I don't know if I mentioned that these are wide, so if we're comfortable on the side. And yes, these, I felt like my heel was sinking down a little bit, it, like more of a, like a flat run, and I didn't like that as much as feeling like a little bit up. So if you have to find out for your shoe what you like, and heel to toe drop is what it's called. I think on average, some of the times it's like five millimeters or some people have like no heel to toe drop because they like it completely flat. And then cross uh, fit, these were Reeboks, CrossFit. I just wanted to see what that was like to run in and no comparison to like the cushion and the comfort of the Hoka's. Um, again, CrossFit shoes are more for like maybe a very short run or just like general training because there's usually less give in the sole. They're usually a little bit stiffer, um, maybe more support too. Uh, yes, yeah, so um, tonight I'm going to run in two types of brooks. Last night I was running lap after lap, you know, just trying different shoes. I just ran two miles and this time I ran in the Hoka Mach. I think they're the Mach 4. I got them these in just seven regular size, which is 7B, and they didn't work at all. The whole time I was running, I felt like on the side of my foot, it was just too narrow. So I definitely need wide, and I have ordered a few pairs of um, wide Hoka shoes, and still a lot of them, um, well, I mean, it's better, it's better, but I almost think in some models, I would maybe even need like the seven and a half wide instead of the seven wide. But anyways, I won't be running in these again, just they just don't fit my feet well. Uh, Pro Fly Hoka. Yeah, I felt like it had a lot of cushion, which was nice, but it was just on the outside of my foot. It just, I felt it like hitting the edge of the shoe, which wasn't comfortable. So, yep, now I know I can't use those. Next, I'm gonna run in the Brooks because just putting on the Brooks and walking in the Brooks, they feel very comfortable. The Dyad feels the best. After that, the Ghost. So, we'll see. I have a couple other pairs of Hoka's, but if it's at all tight, on the outside of my foot, I'm not gonna wear it. And like I said, I think I really should have sized up for Hoka to seven and a half. All right. Yeah, so one more example. I ordered these, which are the Hoka Viata, and this was in 7D, which is a seven wide, and I still feel like my outside of my foot is hitting that. And I guess if you could even see the profile bottom of it, you see how it goes in quite a lot in the middle there. So I definitely need a wider shoe in that middle of my foot area. And again, I think I would have had to sized up to seven and a half. Feels like I would need to for Hoka to be wide enough for me, even in the wide style. The good news is my son likes these shoes and they said he fits them well. I mean, he's only 10, but anyways, he's gonna wear these to school and give these a go because he liked them. And he also likes the Brooks. All right, before it gets too dark, I wanna go ahead and do another run. Yesterday, the shoes I had were just too tight on the side. So now I'm gonna try a different shoe. These are called uh, Reebok CrossFit. And I got them in a full size bigger, so not seven, but actually in a size eight, because I'm tired of feeling like on the side of my foot, it feeling narrow. And since these are not wide, uh, let's see how that goes. So I just ran two miles in these Reebok and I didn't have any issues with the side of my foot, but I feel like it does have less cushion. So because I got these in an eight instead of a seven. So now I wanna do one more lap around the block 
And I'm gonna try these Hoka Speed Goat because I did get them in the seven wide. So let's see how they feel. And I feel like I can do a direct comparison since I was just running right now. And I'm actually tired from running yesterday. My feet are a little sore, so I think I better not run consecutive days. I should just do every other day. Let's give these a try. These, which ones are these? Speed Goat 4. All right, the Hoka Speed Goats are amazing. There's so much cushion. I got them in the 7 wide, which is 7D, and I didn't feel any discomfort on the side of my foot. So that's great. And yeah, the comfort is like no comparison after just trying those Reebok ones. And uh, now I think I'm going to try... I don't know if I should try the Brooks right now. Because I was thinking before that maybe the Brooks Dyad were going to be it, but I also have one more type of Hoka's. So I think I will try the other type of Hoka's. It's like Gavitota, something like that. Just because if they don't work out for me, my son wants to claim them. Okay. And I feel like if I'm just running back to back, these laps, I'm going to get a true comparison because I think from day to day I might feel a little different or forget exactly how it feels, but now I'm just trying them out. So yeah, what is this one called? Uh, Gaviota. Also in wide. Let's give these a go. Just about to go, but I think if I don't lace them up to the top laces, I feel like I'm going to slip out of them, so I need to do one more lace up. I'm a shoe tester. Let's give these a try. My dog was getting confused of why I kept coming from outside and changing shoes and doing another lap. So the final lap, I just put on a pair of K-Swiss shoes and I took her for a lap around the block. But before that, I had on these uh, Gaviota wide and my feeling about these was I felt like it was flat. My foot was flat, almost like my heel was striking first. And I guess compared to the Speed Goat, which have, I think this is what they call, look it up later to get the exact specs, but the heel to toe, you know, rise. Um, this one has seemed higher, so my foot was a little bit, like, it felt a lot more cushion on this one. And I'm definitely, like, hitting on this or the middle of my foot. Whereas this one, um, the heel part is not up as much as here. And this one, I felt like, like my heel was striking first, so I wasn't crazy about that feeling. Again, my foot just felt really flat in there. And then this one, I felt like a slight bit, like my heel was up in like a rolling forward. So yeah, I definitely like this. I know it's more of a trail shoe, these um, speed goats, but I'll look up. I hope, you know, that's gonna be for pavement running as well. It's very comfortable. And that was my review.